Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Here are the starters for Houston. Green and Brooks on the perimeter. Jabari Smith out there with Steven Adams. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard position. And for San Antonio, inside at the 4-5, and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Then there's Devin Vassell, and it's ABC in at the point. These teams both hungry for a win, Grant, searching for some consistency on a night-to-night -night basis. And this is what they call a get-right game, potentially. So how do the teams focus? Will the players be in the right frame of mind, trying to capitalize on this unique opportunity? We'll see. Now here's Brooks. They swipe it. Oh, and a fast break for the Spurs. Deflects the pass. Here's Sohan. Offline with a three. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Here's ABC. Vassell outside. Tries it from 19. It's rebounded by Houston. That's a shot he'd like, Mac. He's usually going to make those. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And there's the foul against Houston. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995. The Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. And he ends up missing both free throws. You know, Grant, looking back to the Spurs' tough last season, free throw shooting was something they wanted to. You know, B.A., it's something they have to correct. They didn't get to the line enough, and their percentage wasn't good when they did. And, of course, that's a bad. Combination. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Rebounded by Champagne. San Antonio's gone one or two from three-point land so far. ABC, the pass to Vassell. And the jumper from the wing offline. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Oh, good recognition from Smith Jr. Now, sensing the defense over commitment and punishing them for it. Here's Wimbanyama. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. His defender flying by him after that pump fake. No hesitation on his move to the rim right there. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. Stepped it away. And out of bounds. Houston will have it. The Rockets have gone just two for four from the floor. And the basket by Van Vliet. That's how you draw it up. The defense just couldn't react in time. Here's ABC. The three. Adams grabs the miss. Now here's Brooks. The D's right on him. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Pure from three-point range. Van Vliet's got five now. Well, Fred could do this all day. He's that confident in his long-range shooting. Yeah, that one's good. ABC. He's taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now, here's Green. Shoots over Vassell. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Goes up at the elbow. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Well, it's not hard to get excited about what Wimbenyama could potentially bring to the league, Grant. Yeah, I mean, possibly you some of the biggest hype we've game. seen, B.A. Unreal ball skills at seven foot four, and he's got that drive to be the greatest. Here's Van Vliet. After the basket by San Antonio. Tipped! Vassell lays it up and banks it in. Aggressive play by Vassell in the paint, getting himself a close-range shot. 
Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Sohan with a rebound. San Antonio leading. Here's Wimanyama. On the wing, Vassell. Takes a three. Oh, Adams with the block. Look at Adams using all of his impressive reach. Firmly swatting that shot away. Both teams will make substitutions. Rockets on D. Long range from the inbound. And he buries his first look. Where was the perimeter D on that number? You have to guard against all possibilities. And the Rockets call time here. And Smitty, even as his game has evolved, Keldon Johnson remains his spark plug. You know, he plays with so much energy. He has become more than a downhill scorer. He can hit the jump off the catch or dribble and keep defenders honest. Wow! Let's hear another round of applause for your Spurs Night Squad dance team! And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. Trailing by four. Here's Easton. Two minutes to rain. Always a nice way to start. It makes his first one. As a distributor, Fred Van Vliet is so effective. He knows when and where to feed his guys. Pass to ABC. Stolen by Van Vliet. Here's Thompson. Thompson with the defensive effort. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Here's Wimanyama. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. My. Throw it down. Yes, he did. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And he gets it to go. Oh, boy, Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Pass to Wimanyama. Shot is up. And there's another one for the Spurs. He gets his man on the ground and stays in rhythm on that shot. So special. Are you kidding me? Beautiful move. Had him on skates. Johnson for three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Quick shooting from Johnson. Getting the drop on the defense. 34 seconds left to play in the first. Van Vliet, the pass to Shingu. And Shingu throw it down. Assist One of the cases two. where height fails to tell you the Van whole story. Vliet. San Antonio has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Pass to Collins. Let's it go from deep. They get it back. Wimanyama. Oh, Wimanyama throws it down. Incredible work right there on the glass. Just doing all he can to extend that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Damn, that one's good. And so it's Victor Wimbanyama making things happen for the Spurs. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. All right, stick around. We'll be right back 16. after the... We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play. This one has been one-sided so far. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for the Spurs. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. Another area where they've excelled has been pushing it on the break. They're really getting after it. So the Rockets five now. Fred Van Vliet out there with Thompson. Then it's Tari Eason. Then there's Alperon Shangoon. And it's Whitmore in at the four-man spot. And Smitty, a trend for the Spurs, playing fast. B.A., they get up a lot of shots. The problem is, the efficiency needs to be there. That was a hallmark of the great Spurs teams back in the day. Woman Yama, no good. Great defense. Can't let guys get open looks inside the arc. Van Vliet with it. He's got five. Oh, rejected by Wimbanyama. 
outside Jones. It's tipped. I mean, that was pure hustle by Van Vliet, giving his all to influence the shot and swat it away. And Wimbanyama gets it to go. The Rockets trail. Van Vliet right side. Good to see it fall for him. Now three for nine. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Jones, a pass to Vassell. Wimanyama against Shangun. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Throws it up high. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Vassell passes to Johnson. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And the lamp is good off the glass. One of the strongest guards in the league, Keldon Johnson, is a load inside. Pass to Shangun. Here's Whitmore. Left side, Eason. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. To the paint. And a slam dunk by Ingram. That's probably one of the easiest assists Jones will have in his career. Now Van Vliet. He has seven. Inside. Whitmore. San Antonio with a rebound. Wimbun Yama's got six rebounds in the game. Van Vliet against Jones. Down low. And the dunk by Wimbun Yama. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Here's Van Vliet. Now, for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about time three out, minutes gone by. Smitty, one thing you really appreciate about Trey Jones, he runs the offense with efficiency. Yes, B.A., the reason why he has a high basketball IQ and a calmness, and he never makes mistakes. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Trey Van Vliet went from undrafted to an NBA All-Star. He said, quote, individually, there's still a lot left I want to get done. But trying to chase that next championship is what I'm locked in on. That feeling trumps anything I've ever done in my life. Besides my kids, that's right up there as far as personal journeys and accomplishments. Brian? He's got it in the right order. Thanks, Allie. Jones, the pass to Wambanyama. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. Well, Grant, before First he even hit the foul. league, Wimbanyama was touted as the next big star for the fall. He'll be a playing in a foreign home added to his mystique, B.A. We weren't getting the exposure to his game. It made it easy to wonder just how great he would be here. Steven Adams checked in for the Rockets. Smitty, in terms of building a title team, is the era of super teams over, you think? B.A., no way. Despite what happened with Katie Harden and Kyrie in Brooklyn, Front offices will always look to align stars. I think you just need the right personalities. Women Yama, pass to Jones. And here's Johnson. From the arc, trains the triple. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. A solid three-point shooter. Johnson makes the defense pay for giving him life. Here's Shepard. Call is going to be, yes, on an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. The Spurs making a switch here. Collins checked in. And a change for the Rockets. Green is checked in. Vassell's shot is good. A lot of Vassell's buckets come off assists. He's very comfortable on catch-and-shoot situations. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Johnson. Outside Wimbanyama. Johnson inside. Brooks defending. Pass to Vassell. Three-pointer. That's his fifth miss. Only made two shots in this one so far. Here's Shepard. Yet to see a basket. Now here's Shangun. Stolen by Jones. Now the Spurs move.
open it up the floor. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Steven. Getting to the line, something this team Eighth wants more foul. of from Keldon Johnson. Second team foul. At the line for your Spurs. Jeffrey Keldon throw drops to Johnson. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. NBA, no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. And here's Green from the arc. Rebounded by the Spurs. Johnson's got rebound number five here tonight. 51 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Fires for three. Knocks down the triple. Johnson's got 13 now. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they have executed. Now a timeout called by Houston. There's no way coach likes this effort level. They need to refocus. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Champini, he's checked in for San Antonio. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Adams got the defender to jump on the pump. First, The defense has to stay on their feet. Shooting for Houston, Steven Adams. That one misses. For San Antonio, they've gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Pass to Sohan, and stolen by Green. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. When you think of Dylan Brooks, his energy stands out. The guy who gives you everything he has. Shooting for Houston. And Brooks drops them both. 20 seconds left in the first half of this one. If you can, use up the clock and route to the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Here's the cell. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Devin understands he needs to keep taking and making these shots. This is crucial to his overall development. And so the San Antonio Spurs, a huge 24-point lead for them. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Coach Greg Popovich. And, Coach, you look at the offensive execution for this team. What are you seeing? I think they've done a pretty good job in moving the basketball, keeping up the pace, because we've been playing in mud a little bit lately, but the pace has been pretty good. Hopefully that pace continues in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. It's San Antonio out on top at halftime. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, give us your tip. I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right? That's the point. Obviously. And Shaq is getting glorious put on the Rockets. They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. They hate to say it. Even up way too many easy wins. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. It's going to be a long ride. Huh? And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. See if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Victor Wimbanyama really making a difference here. 
He's been on a tear so far, throwing down some vicious dunks. I was a little worried for the rim in the first half. And I can't wait to see what he has in store during this second half. Some of those jams were downright absurd. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Then there's Devin Vassell, and it's ABC in at the one spot. That's the San Antonio five. Here's Van Vliet. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. Wimbanyama's got a seventh rebound here tonight. Here's ABC, guarded by Van Vliet. Here's ABC, and that one drops. ABC's got seven. And ladies and gentlemen, there's no wet spot out there. He was just broken down. <laughs> yes, indeed. And he failed. San Antonio foul. Sohan, first personal foul. First team foul. About a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Smith passes to Van Vliet. Clock at six. Tries it from the top of the key. And that one drops Fred for him. Van Vliet. Nine points in the game. Watch how Fred commands the floor. Moving the defense around and finding a shot. Here's Sohan. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got four rebounds in the game. To the inside, Smith. The shot that time, not on target. Good D by Wimbanyama. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. He gets it in there. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. San Antonio has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Sohan, pass to ABC. And another shot. And he sinks the layup. ABC's got four points now in the quarter. I mean, he's ignoring the scoreboard. He just keeps coming at him. There's two things they rely on him for. Being competitive and bringing energy. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. Well, Dylan Brooks can score. But defense is definitely his calling card. Grant, he's a workhorse who normally has to guard the opposition's best score. He has grit and toughness, and that is contagious. Branham's checked in for Vassell. ABC, the pass to Wimbanyama. Here's Branham. Back to Wimbanyama. Pass to Sohan. Yes! Yeah. And it's Wimbanyama picking up the assist. The assist. For using his size well and putting some Wim muscle Wim behind his play. That's how Sohan gets to his shot inside. Here's Van Vliet. That's bucket number five. Right. He's five for 12 now. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Here's ABC, guarded by Van Vliet. Pass to Branham. Takes the three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. You could say the Spurs are in development mode. Devin Vassell said there's a lot of potential, a lot of new opportunity. Just got to make sure we're growing each game and maturing. As long as we play together and we play the right way, we will have a chance to win every game. We still got the greatest coach of all time sitting back there. Ryan. Yeah, you'll get no argument here. Thanks, Allie. The offensive rebound. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Brooks will let you run him over if it means he gets to the line. He craves contact. The free throw drops for Brooks. Dylan Brooks taking two shots. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up to the Spurs. I have 
to admit, I mean, it's Jeffrey. always a tough decision for the ref on a block charge call. First Whitmore's team. checked in for Brooks. Substitution for the Rockets. Hey, puts up a Whitmore. three. And it's Whitmore with the rebound. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Here's Thompson. So it'll be two so free throws. Fouled. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Number 17. Well, Grant, Second Ahmed Thompson has proved there more Four routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime Thompson. elite. A different path for both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. Pass to Collins. Right wing. Here's Branham. San Antonio again missing. The Rockets have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Thompson, that's good. 119 left to play in the third quarter here. Eason with a steal. Back comes Houston in transition. Here's Whitmore, covered Whitmore. by Ingram, using his post moves to get the two points. San Antonio's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Pass to Sissoko. Fast break, here come the Rockets. And here's Thompson for three. San Antonio with a rebound. There's 38 seconds left in the third. And the basket by Branham. Intelligent ball movement. The offense looking one step ahead there. Thompson in the post. The rebound by Sissoko. San Antonio's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Uses the glass on the layup. Sissoko's got his first basket. 15 seconds left in the third. Pass to Easton. Knocked loose. And so the San Antonio Spurs cruise it into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. And don't go far. We'll be right back. as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Well, the Rockets shooting just under 40% from the field. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. Green is the two with Tate at the three. Jock Landale is out there with Whitmore, and it's Shepard in at the point. And fighting his way through, Green not afraid in there with the big boys. Wesley, pass to Ingram. On the break! Here's Whitmore, and he jams it home with authority. <laughs> it, it all happened in an instant, turning defense into offense. I love it. That was great anticipation on the steal, a gamble that paid off. Pass to Sissoko. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. Here's Whitmore, covered by Ingram. Here's Shepard, and they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. The shot by Wesley, no good. Now here's Green. He's closely guarded. And it's like Green doesn't have an off switch. He's consistent at attacking defenses and drawing whistles. 
And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive the approach for San Antonio. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. Yeah, something else I love that they're doing is driving into the lane and getting the shots they want in penetration. There's the triple. Sends it home from the three point out. land. Green's got six points in the quarter. The shortest but toughest three on the floor, and Green just making it look easy. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Make the noise once again for your Spurs youth. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Here's Wesley. Pass to Wimanyama. Rockets with a rebound. Adams has got five rebounds tonight to the middle. I see you. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. And so it looks like it'll be Houston's ball. Houston ball. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. And the basket Red, by Van Vliet. And, and you can see Smith has goal, the vision. Dude. Now, it'll be interesting Jamari to watch Smith. that part of his game continue to develop. Here's ABC, guarded by Van Vliet. To the right side. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Pass to Green. Let's the three fly. And the Rockets hit again from deep. They're improving, but still find themselves behind. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they are not into this game, they have to get some stops. Here's ABC. And the shot goes down. Number five. And the Spurs lead by oh, 21. Five. If you give him any Wesley. sort of space, Wesley. he's going to attack. Pass to Adams. Another shot. And he lays it up Steve and in. Adams. And he's one of those guys you don't have to call plays for. Steven Adams is happy to eat the leftovers. Wesley, the pass to Wambanyama. Pass money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. And Brooks has got the ball here for the Rockets. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. And they pick up two. This coaching staff has the utmost confidence in Fred Van Vliet, and he's really cooking tonight. Here's ABC, guarded by Van Vliet. The three from Wimbledon. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. And he's not taking it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Dylan and that Brooks. one's good for Brooks. Three. What we know about Dylan Brooks, he's a gamer. Three on the other end, right back at you. Here's ABC. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Down low. Fades away. And there's Ryan Smith. Smith. That one's good. On the assist, assist from Ryan. Van Vliet. And there's the length of Smith at work. Playing big on the interior. Here's ABC. Guarded by Van Vliet. Wing shot on the way. Rebound by Van Vliet. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. They say it was last touched by Van Vliet. San Antonio's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Spurs. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And what a huge performance it was for Victor Wimbanyama. Shoulder the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. The ball's knocked loose. Let's it fly. And he nails the jumper. One positive takeaway, 
at least they're finally Steven. showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Outside Johnson, back to Wimanyama. It's rebounded by Houston. And he lobs it up! A player who's aware of everything around him. Brooks sees the man break open and hits him. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Let's it fly from 18. Adams grabs the miss. And it's Houston's ball. They trail by 14. Van Vliet outside. This one for three. Sinks it from distance. Oh, man, Comfortable in Three catch and shoot situations. Fred does a lot of things for this team. Here's Wesley. The three ball. Off the mark. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a room, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that about wraps it up. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.